Two of the big three are planning massive plant shutdowns because of the ongoing chip shortage. At GM, it impacts nearly all of its plants in North America, including here in Michigan. Business Editor Rod Maloney has been following this problem for the very beginning, and he joins us live with more. Rod, good evening. Yeah, yeah, Kimberly, you know, any optimism that this uh, this chip shortage would abate anytime soon is long since gone. As a matter of fact, General Motors has 13 working assembly plants in the North America region. Only nine of them, or actually they're closing nine of them in the days to come here, but they're not the only ones fighting this fight. It takes six months to get a computer chip from the wafer board to chip form. It then needs testing, packaging, and shipping from half a world away. Unlike earlier this year, COVID cases in Malaysia are slowing down the packaging and shipping processes, forcing General Motors into extending for two more weeks its existing shutdowns at the Lansing Delta Township, Spring Hill and Ramos, Mexico plants, extending for three weeks its current shutdowns at the Cami plant of Ingersoll, Canada, the San Luis Potosi, Mexico plant and the Equinox half of the Ramos, Mexico plant. The new additions to GM's closure list are Fort Wayne, Wentzville, and the Salau, Mexico assembly operations. Guide House Insights auto analyst Sam Abel Samad says there's no good news here on the horizon either. This is a signal that you know th this this is a problem that is not going to be resolved uh, for at least probably the next six months. Over at Ford this coming week, it's closing its Kansas City F-150 plant. The Dearborn truck plant will work only one shift. The Kentucky truck plant will have only two of three shifts working. All of these vehicles that are down now are these automakers' most profitable vehicles that remain in very high demand and now shorter supply. The fact that companies are forced not to build makes for an exceptionally expensive supply chain problem. The time this is all said and done, the total may well reach into the tens of billions. Stellantis has several plants down this week, Belvedere, Sterling Heights, Brampton, Ontario. And next week, the Windsor minivan plant is going to be down for the next week. So this has a, a, a ripple effect across the industry. Toyota's production this month is going to be down 40%. Yeah, really affecting so many. So right in the beginning, you said GM has 13 North American assembly plants. I thought there were more, no? Well, there are. Uh, there are two more, but uh, they're, they're down. The uh, Orion assembly plant where they make the bolt is down because of the fire problem there with the vehicles. And then over in uh, Pole Town, the, uh, the old Pole Town plant, Plant Zero now they call it, is in a changeover mode to try and start building electric vehicles. And so therefore, they're not counting that plant because it's not affected yeah. by the shortage. Yeah. Okay. More to come on this. Rod, we appreciate the report. Jason.